Hey guys, one idea of this vlog is also to speak out the truth. To speak also about topics which maybe are a taboo. Like a few days ago I talked about relig religion for example. Today I want to talk about money. For those of you who've been following my vlog for a longer time now know that once in a while I'm speaking about my monetary uh, situation at the moment. And the last time I talked about it, it was really bad. I was almost broke. But if you've been following the vlog now, you've seen that I've worked actually quite a lot in the last few months, so my financial situation is a lot better. How is it at the moment? At the moment I'm having 3,900 euros on my normal bank account and you wouldn't believe it, 10,015 euros on the account for the SVASVR, uh, which is basically my backup for social security and taxes. So what I've been doing today and some days ago is my tax return for 2016 to get to know how much of these 10,000 euros I can keep. Because, as you know, I'm putting aside 50% of each and every euro I'm earning. If I earn 2000 euros, 1000 euros get to the side. So, I wanna, wanted to know how much can I keep of those 10,000 euros. It's not that easy, but I think I finished my tax return. If you're interested in this, um, let's take a look. So. I've earned in 2016 16,334 euros. I've spent 3,400 euros, which is 21%. 21% I've spent from my income, which makes, first of all, a profit of 12,800 euros. But you can subtract all the travel costs because in Austria you can deduct when you are working not at your place where you're living but somebody else and you're working there less than five days you can subtract some money first of all for the hotels and second for just going there how do you know this well it's like it's like in Pirates of the Caribbean where they say you can only find this island when you've already been there. It's the same with this. You know it only when you've already done something like this. This makes 11,700 euros. 13% is Gewinnfreibetrag. I don't know why, but you can subtract 13% of your profit, which is 1,500 euros, which makes 10,200 euros profit in 2016 which is not bad because under 11,000 euros you don't have to pay taxes so I won't have to pay taxes but for the social security you have to add I've paid 2,800 euros for the social security I have to add this to this again which makes 13,000 euros so my I owe to the SOR 3,900 euros for the last year. I've paid 2,800, so I still owe them 1,000 euros. They are going to be writing to me a letter that this year I'll probably have to pay this plus this. So 5,000 euros. This for this year, this for last year. 5,000 euros this year which makes 1,200 euros a quarter or 400 euros a month. So if my calculations are correct and they probably are not because the social security they have their own system how to calculate it and it's never the same. Don't ask me why. I've studied economics but I'm not smart enough for this. They're very smart people at the state agencies which can calculate this but if they are kind of right I will have to 
pay 5,000 euros. So, from the 10,000 euros, 5,000 I could keep, which would be awesome. I still never gonna touch this money. You might ask yourself, how did I do this? Like half a year ago I was broke and now I have almost 4,000 euros on my bank account and another 10,000 put aside. Well, I've worked a lot and I've earned a lot. I've earned, I've worked a lot for the museum. What is very good is the university job because those are additionally 400 Euro, euros coming in as an income month by month even though it's not so much work for me which is kind of awesome. So it's after taxes 200 euros a month which just come in and that's one very important aspect which I'm also teaching my students it's the monthly payments it's the fixed income which really makes a difference so if you look at money it's the income streams and the outflows which are important the things which you have to pay on a regular basis those are the things where you have to work on like get those income things higher and those outcome things lower if you want to higher the amount you want to have on your bank account of course. So I've worked hard, I've put aside 50% of each and every euro, I didn't spend a lot like I just bought a new pair of shoes and I've been waiting for this for half a year to buy just a new pair of shoes. So. I didn't spend anything, I didn't go on holiday at all and that's how I got to get now a little amount which I can put aside and which makes this easy feeling of a small pillow which I could rest on for one or two months. So yeah, those were just a few words about my financial situation. As I said, I mean, it's a personal situation. This is of course not true if you talk about the whole society. It was just a personal view on my finances. And I don't know if that was interesting, but I think it's interesting to know how much do people own, how much do people get, how much do they receive for their work. I think this is one of the really bad things that money is such a taboo and you don't know how much people are earning or people are having. I think people should tell this. That's the thing how you divide people by not spreading information. So everybody thinks oh I'm earning so much I won't tell anybody. And it's not true because the others are also not earning, earning the same maybe. I think oh I won't tell anybody. And there are some which are earning really a lot and those are the ones who are profiting. So keeping money as a secret is a way how to keep everything low. And I think, yeah, we should talk more openly about this. It would be better for our society, I guess. So one last thing, I would really love to say thank you to everybody who helped me out last summer du during those hard times where I was actually broke. Thank you so much for yeah, giving me help.